Broadcasting from Manhattan Beach and the World Wide Web, you're listening to CHSR, HealthyLife.net. As a service to our listeners, this program is for general information and entertainment purposes only. CHSR HealthyLife.net does not recommend, endorse, or object to the views, products, or topics expressed or discussed by show hosts or their guests. We suggest you always consult with your own personal, medical, financial, or legal advisor. Time now for the Business Beat. Join your host, Ralph White, along with his co-hosts, Leanne Farmer, Bonnie Lantow, and Mary Mollenhoff, and their guests. Business Beat, keeping their finger on the pulse of business to increase the flow of profit. Here now is your host, Ralph White, and the Business Beat. Welcome to the Business Beat. I'm here today with Leanne Farmer. Hello, Leanne. How are you? I'm very well, Ralph. Thanks. How are you? Excellent. Excellent. So, Leanne, today we're going to talk about the whole life matrix, Mm -hmm. where we're looking at financial viability, personal awareness, health and well-being, and relationships. And for the listeners, if you want to check that out on our website at consulting to the number two win.com and then there's a button up there that says matrix and that's where we coach from looking at all the four quadrants of life to where you to win in the game of life it includes all four quadrants and today we're going to focus on relationships in that quadrant we have significant other friends family and staff and colleagues so we're talking about the relationships with those four elements. And Leanne, we, who's our guest today? Why don't you introduce them? I think we have a very interesting show today, Ralph. Uh, and we're really going to be focusing on that significant other piece of, of the matrix because so often when you're running a business and many of the people that we work with are spending so much time in their business, they tend to neglect that other part of life, which is relationships, Uh, and especially the significant other, and they have a hard time finding someone to be with. So uh, today I've invited two really fabulous people, Katie Chen and May Huey, and they are the co-founders of Catch Matchmaking. Oh, great. Uh, And Catch Matchmaking uh, was founded in 2007 to fill this need that many uh, professional people have for finding someone to meet and date and uh, here in the Los Angeles area. But I'm sure all our listeners everywhere are going to be very much interested in what Katie and May have to say about how this process works. Uh, So, Katie and May, welcome to the Business Beat. Hello, Katie and May. Okay, we're going to have Jay try to hook them in there. So let me tell you a little bit more about what they do while we're having our technical glitches uh, smoothed out here. Katie and May uh, founded Catch Matchmaking, and, and what they do is, uh, you know, they you have more, just like we say, you have more uh, a possibility of getting sales if you're putting time into the process of finding sales. If you put more focus on the process of uh, finding that target market that, that is going to suit you for the person that you're looking for, you're going to have a much higher possibility of success. So they so. can they can save you time in this project. Right, and probably a lot of emotional angst as well. So okay. I think we have Katie and May back on the line now. Are you there? Hey, Leanne, I can hear you now. Okay, great, great. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Or afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon, and welcome to the program. Um, and I want to let our listeners know right off the bat, if you have questions for Katie or May, uh, the number here at the studio is 800-555. Five four five three. If you want to call into them, I think they're going to um, have a, a special offer for the first couple of callers, and I'll let them talk about that. But, uh, ladies, can you tell us a little bit first about the scope of your company's service? What what exactly do you provide? Leanne. Yes. Can you hear me, Katie? Well, I think we are having some uh, some more technical difficulties. I apologize, folks. But um, again, I think what Katie and May are going to tell us as soon as we get them hooked in is that they have a mixer coming up and that uh, the first guy and the first gal to call in here to the studio at 800-555-5453, if you are in the Los Angeles area, will get a free ticket to that event. It's called a Lock and Key Mixer, and I believe it's happening on May 1st. So... We will have them uh, 
tell us more about that. So if you call in at 800-555-5453, you'll get to talk to Katie and May. While we're waiting for them, Ralph, why don't we talk about some of the other quadrants in that relationship um, part of the matrix? Definitely. It's not just significant others, is it? Not at all. You know, business is done on relationships. So it's really how you how you interact with people, uh, how you listen to people, how you speak to them. You know, it, 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 like I said, it's, it's sig- significant others, friends, uh, your staff, your coworkers. It's a function of that, you know, how you communicate with them. We have them online now. Okay, good. Okay. Katie, can you hear me now? I sure can. Okay, there you are. So uh, welcome to the program, and we'd like to start off with uh, you telling our listeners a little bit about the scope of your service. Okay, great. Well, Catch Matchmaking, we specialize in making personalized introductions just between busy single professionals in the greater L.A. area. Uh, Our clients basically hire us to recruit, screen, interview, network, and match them uh, with relationship-minded singles. So... May and I both have a natural inclination to learn more about someone when we first meet them anyhow. So a lot of our extensive experience with hiring and recruiting employees in the past, uh, the scope of our service really has a professional and a very personalized feel to it. Mm-hmm. And what prompted you to start this business? Well, both of us were in uh, upper management in corporate America for over 10 years plus. And we just really saw a need for it in Los Angeles. When you're really focused on driving your career or growing your business, you're not wanting to date in the work pool. It's just not professional, especially in upper management. And a lot of people don't want to be found online at that point. So we just saw a huge need that people who are driving their business or in climbing the corporate ladder still want to have a significant other. So... That's really what prompted us to start catch matchmaking, and our niche does focus on busy professionals in Los Angeles. Okay. So uh, you just kind of told us who your perfect candidate is, someone who is short on time, uh, who is committed to finding someone, and who is, uh, I mean, how do, you, how do you analyze if someone is a good fit for your service? Well, it's funny, Leanne, because I always get, well, what's wrong with people who join your services? Are they losers who can't get a date? <laughs> right. But quite the contrary. Our clients are just normal people. It would be both men and women who are, like you said, busy professionals who want to get fulfillment beyond their career, so they need to make uh, finding love or finding compatibility a priority in their life for us to really be able to help them. Um, and they need to be relationship-minded, active, and fit, and seeking a partner really to share their time with, and who knows, maybe even fall in love. You know, our industry is really no different than someone who would seek out a dentist if they want a better smile. I mean, Mm. you would seek out a trainer if you want a more effective workout. So for busy professionals who want a relationship or meet quality singles, they should seek a matchmaker, so to speak. So are most of them looking for the long-term marriage, family, kids idea, or, or in this day and age, are more of them just looking for someone that they can take to the theater and and how does that what 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 does that look like well yeah before i think the myths that surround matchmaking can be very daunting because they think oh boy if i see a matchmaker that means i want to get married in six months and have three kids you know by the time i two years from now or something but it's really not uh something of that nature only anymore uh, more and more so I see the trend towards people, like you said, want to have great dates and maybe that develops into a cohabiting relationship. And then they, that could maybe mean marriage for some people, may not. But at the end of the day, they don't want to be going to the bar and club anymore and uh, having conversations that really lead nowhere because that person really that you're talking to is an extremely attractive woman may never want kids and you're like wait but I do want kids and so we kind of make sure those things are in line and then if you just want to casually date that's fine too but more different levels of commitment for different people seeking matchmakers now so it doesn't have to mean kids and marriage so are you seeing an an uptick in 
your line of business over the last few years? I mean, it seems like maybe some of the stigma, if there was one, that's associated to working with a service like this um, in light of all the resources that are available mm-hmm. to find people online and, and some of the exposure that shows like Millionaire Matchmaker have put out there. I mean, are you seeing that people are more open to doing it? I think absolutely, especially since um, the show Millionaire Matchmaker has been um, a great PR for our industry, uh, although there are still a lot of myths to dispel about what our services are and a lot of services like us in Los Los Angeles are. Um, I think the show is also, um, it says it's matchmaking and I think it's it's great exposure for us, but also we're not focused on just millionaires. Um, And a lot of people may think, oh wow, that's what your services cost. You have to be a millionaire to hire a matchmaker. Uh, But there are services like ourselves that offer different affordable packages. Of course, it's more than online dating, but it's a great investment if this part of your life is a priority. It's Mm -hmm. similar to hiring a recruiter or a PR consultant. And for us, it's we'll always put your best foot forward when we're in front of the next hot business guy or woman at a luncheon. So it's not just for a millionaire. And uh, you're right, there there has been an uptake because a lot of people, almost everybody has a, if you're single, have try online dating and if that hasn't really worked for you because you're not finding what you want then if you do see that there's an affordable service out there for you that's more personalized of course you would want to give that a try so it's helped us matchmakers out there a ton Mm -hmm. so how do you distinguish yourself from the online services like eHarmony and and match.com what do you provide that they don't well one of the powerful things about online that a lot of people can agree with is quantity. There are anybody and everybody can get on there. So that has the power of quantity. But with that, with people who are professionals and busy or top level executives, they don't want to, and it's almost like a full-time job, responding to emails, looking at pictures, uh, creating witty emails to get a response back. So what we do is we have kind of a, this is our client, or if you look at it like a recruiter, this is the job opening. You need to have X, Y, and Z to even interview for it, right? So we do the profile sorting, and then we also meet with people one-on-one and face-to-face to really get to know them. Mm -hmm. And through our process of working with someone and setting someone up, we get date feedback. So there is accountability to this, opposed to maybe online dating, there's really no one to give you feedback. Maybe someone just won't text you back, and maybe they won't call you back. But So you're left wondering why. <laughs> right. You're just left with, I don't even know what to do next. And it's fine, I think, if you're just needing to go on dates and practice your dating skills, but when people get to a certain level in their life and they're ready for something serious, well, they don't really want to waste time online anymore. So that's how we differ. We really are discerning. Uh-huh. Uh, so the quality is higher, um, but we also have quantity because we are constantly updating our database and we have connections with other matchmakers. Right. Does that mean that uh, after a date you interview both pe- parties and sort of debrief them, and if there's not going to be another date, you actually give them feedback on uh-huh. what, what didn't work? Yeah, absolutely, because our memberships are usually a year or six months. So um, throughout that time when we're setting up the date, after each date we do an exit interview or post-date feedback. We ask them how was the conversation flow, you know, were they dressed date appropriate, how's the date etiquette, what's their chemistry. And so just for example, there's a lot of, um, I had a guy and a girl who now currently live together, but at the first couple of dates, Neither one were sure they had chemistry because by the fourth date, no one kissed. Uh-huh. So someone had to make the move. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you coach them through this so predicament? Having someone to kind of give you the inside scoop is sometimes invaluable. So how did you coach them through that predicament, Katie? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they, first of all, after the first date, I think it's the most important part of the feedback because... 
you know, their guys and girls would tell us the same thing. They don't want to do the rejecting. And if they really are going to be meeting as many people as we want them to meet and can have them meet, they don't want to keep going through that. So the, after the first date, it was like, I, I like her, I like him, I want to see them again. And then so we can kind of tell, we tell both parties that. So it empowers the guy to ask her out again. Okay, and there's good. no mystery. So after the third and fourth time, um, we just go, look, you both like each other. One of you guys make a move. It's just okay. get on with it. That's <laughs> good. That's you know, a... I want you guys to go get a drink and uh, oh. you guys feel more comfortable. Oh. So. Well, what I love about this is that it, you're working with people on their relationships very much in the same way that we work with people on their businesses, and that is to provide, you know, continuous coaching and support in what is working and what isn't working so that the, the client can take that feedback and, you know, make whatever necessary actions they need to make in order to get the result that they want. Right, right. You're absolutely correct about that because... I think dating at sometimes at the beginning stages of it can you have to put your best foot forward, and mm-hmm. that's what a, an appropriate matchmaker or service should do for you. Is if they do see someone who meets your standards, should represent you appropriately. So I think there's different styles of matchmaking out there, and it's not it. I always encourage people, depending on what type of person you are, if you're a professional, if you're an artist. Make sure you find the right person to represent you in a way because they are going to be treating this hopefully just like a job interview as well. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you have an offer for our listeners that I want to give you a chance to make sure that we talk about that before our first break. Um, And again, the call-in number here, folks, is 800-555-5453. And now, Katie, don't you have a mixer coming up that uh, you want to tell people about? Yes, we certainly do. We're very excited. We partnered up with Lock and Key events, and our mixer is coming up for people who are in our database. Uh, They are also in uh, the database of Lock and Key events, and so it really exposes a lot of singles who uh, two groups coming together. We have it for age groups uh, 40 and up, and we also have a uh, time frame for age group 25 to 45. So it really covers a, a range of age groups. May 1st is the date. It's going to be held at Aqua Lounge in Beverly Hills. And so for more information, I would encourage listeners to go on our website, catchmatchmaking.com, go to news and events, and you can find out more information. So we're extremely excited to host this mixer with Lock and Key. And I think what you had told me is if we, if we get a, a guy and or a girl to call into the show, you're going to offer them a free ticket. Is that right? Absolutely. Uh, we will offer a free ticket to the first guy and the first girl who calls in. Okay. And uh, we would be excited to also list them for free in our database in case they may be a great match for our client. So we'll definitely offer that to your listener as well. All right. So folks out there, we're coming up on our first break, but you're not going to want to miss that. So think of uh, a question you want to ask Katie or just call on into the show at 800-555-5453. We're going to take a short break and we're going to be back with Katie Chen from Catch Matchmaking here on the Business Beat. Do you own your own business? What would happen if your computer system crashed? Would you be able to recover in a reasonable amount of time? Left Brain Tech's computer services caters to business owners who want reliable computer systems that work and are backed up in case of emergency. For your entire computer needs, call 888-239-2216 or visit leftbraintext.com. IT solutions done right with Left Brain Techs. That's 888-239-2216 or leftbraintext.com. Making it perfect or nothing else is the company culture at Goldbrecht USA, a premier luxury window and door manufacturer. Doing business since 1889, every window and door is made with old world craftsmanship and the finest materials, meticulous design, sleek finishing, and a commitment to the environment. They even use environmentally friendly transportation. 
Made in Germany, available in the U.S., Goldbreck USA is located in Santa Monica, California. For the world's best windows and doors, visit www.goldbrechtusa.com or call now at 310-393-5540. That's 310-393-5540. If you're like the 8 out of 10 women that say finding jeans that fit is a problem well your problem is solved lee jeans has done extensive research and they have jeans that fit there's even an online lee fit finder so you can find the right fit for you imagine jeans that instantly slim you with a custom fit and no gap waistband and guys kids lee has jeans for you too click through to lee's jeans on the healthylife.net advertiser page and get what fits Put a little light in your life and keep it shining with Intellectric.net, a full-service lighting design company. If you need a top electrical contracting firm to deal with all facets of electrical, from concept to completion, including repair, call Intellectric.net at 310-838-5486. They can use green technology. They are home automation specialists and they are high-end residential specialists. With prompt and efficient service, Intellectric.net has over 10 trucks, 28 employees, and on-call electricians available to handle your needs. Educated in state-of-the-art techniques and technology for all your electrical needs. Call dependable, innovative Intellectric.net today at 310-838-5486. Keep your light shining. Call 310-838-5486 or visit online at intellectric.net. Healthylife.net for healthy side effects. Hello and welcome back to The Business Beat. I'm Leanne Farmer here with Ralph White. And our guest today is Katie Chen from Catch Matchmaking here in the Los Angeles area. And she's giving us a lot of great insight on a service that people may or may not know much about, but we're, we're all about helping busy professionals have a full and complete life. And that means not just working on their business, but working on their relationships as well. And so, Katie, I wanted to talk a little bit about if so, once someone uh, comes to you for help, what is the process? I mean, you, you interview them. Do you automatically set them up on dates? What can people expect if they come to you for help? Well, our process is, is simple. It's four steps, which uh, one involves an online profile, which is free and confidential. So it's for, also great for those listening and who may already be happily attached, but they know a great catch who want. Uh, who you may want us to consider them for a client uh, can also go on our website to uh, look at that link. And two, it's, it's a face-to-face consultation to get to know the person behind the answers and for them to also learn all about our process and uh, matchmaking like we had discussed earlier seems uh, to sound daunting to most people who aren't familiar with the process. Uh, the third step we would uh, encounter is presenting profiles of suggested matches to our clients and to make sure they know a little bit about who we're introducing them to and have them buy into it. The fourth uh, step is always, always uh, post-date feedback to make sure uh, which uh, aspects our clients liked and disliked about the match and also to give our uh, matches a chance to give us insight on our clients. It also helps us progressively match them with, with uh, people that are closer to who they're looking for. For example, someone will say, hey, can you find me someone who's a little bit more structured in their life, or can you find me someone who's a little bit more flexible and more free-spirited so we can go that direction throughout their membership, which is very valuable. Mm-hmm. So you mentioned that you have a kind of two contract plans, a six-month and a 12-month, and what can someone expect to get with one of those packages? Is there a certain number of dates they can go on, or how does that work? It's uh, fairly customizable for most people, but I would say mm-hmm. on uh, average, our standard package for a 12-month membership would be to have an unlimited amount of matches that they can go on. We do do a guarantee so that people have an idea, well, am I going to go on a date once a month, you know, three times a month, or what is it going to be? Our guarantee is eight matches. Uh, a match is really, I guess we can kind of define a little bit what a match is, is sure. we'll present someone, uh, a potential match to our client, they are interested, and the other party has to be interested in meeting our client as well, because 
ideally if there's no buy-in and two people are sitting across from each other, it's not, there's not going to be any chemistry. So that's considered a match when it's mutual. That's a 12-month membership. And our six-month membership just cuts the search to a less thorough basis. It's only half the time period. Uh, but there's also the unlimited feature in that membership. There's also a four-match guarantee. So Four matches? Best, yes, four okay. matches in six months. So it's, it's definitely customizable depending on who we're talking to because I do have people who want to date more than that. And I have people who go, I don't need unlimited. You can just sign me up with one person or something. So I would say it's very customizable. So you try to fit the program to what the person's needs are? Definitely, because the professionals that we work with, they have busy travel schedules, they have a lot of things going on, uh, and they may not be able to meet a ton of people. So as we get to know them, we can customize things to their needs. Okay. What do you recommend for the first date? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> I think the most, we don't like to sound boring, but I think of all the people that we work with and all the types of dates that we've set up, most people say, just find me a place that I can talk to them. It doesn't have to be anything like skydiving or rock climbing, even if I've worked with extremely active people. Uh, they want to get to know their date, so it's usually a hotel lounge uh, or a quiet coffee shop that's not a chain, uh, that the blender's in your ear kind of thing, just right. as long as they're comfortable and they're sitting across from each other. A lot of people these days don't want to do a full-on dinner date because it's like an interview session, and dating should be fun. So, so the first date is, is kind of shorter time than a, than a dinner would be then. Is that what you recommend? Yeah. Yes, definitely. For most of our people, they do prefer kind of an appetizer and yeah. happy hour situation. Interesting. So, okay. And also, it, it's it's great because a lot of people, a lot of men especially, uh, will say, yeah, I, I wanted to ask her to, to walk on the beach or something. And that means they want more. But a lot of times, you know, a lot of the gals will cut it short and say, oh, yeah, I'm busy or something. And it leaves them wanting more, so we think that first dates that are a little bit shorter could be better because, number one, if you don't like somebody, you're not wasting a lot of your time because you right. don't have a lot of time anyway. And number two, there's always going to be a second or third date if they're really both really into each other. It goes well. So do you yeah. tell them what to do? I mean, do you say, here, meet her at this spot? <laughs> you know, do you pick the restaurant or? Good question. We, during our interview, we'll ask a lot about, okay, do you know a lot about restaurants and you have your favorite ones? Do you want to give us a list of places that you're comfortable going to? And so that gives an idea of kind of what their personality is like when it comes to at least culinary choice uh, or at least the bars they're comfortable at. But we concierge the date. That's a part of our process as part of our service, meaning we will set up the restaurant, we'll make the reservations, we'll determine the time. So when both people are interested in meeting each other, we're going to get their schedule and we're going to coordinate something that works for both parties. So there is no need to coordinate it on your own because I can't tell you the number of dates that used to fail uh, when we used to do it where we would let the guy call, let the girl call, whatever it is, because people get busy and they get frustrated and they give up and go, you know what, I, I don't really want to meet this person because there's really no buy-in. You haven't met them right. yet. Why would you invest all this time? Huh. Well, that's, so we do it all. Oh, that's that's a great service, folks. <laughs> uh, it's sound like having a black Amex. <laughs> What's that? It's like having a black Amex. We, we concierge all that out. <laughs> right. That's great. That's great. Well, so when people come to you, I mean, what kind of expectations do they have? I mean, do they think that, that they're going to meet 17 beautiful girls on the first week? Or do you have to kind of manage people's expectations of the process? Oh, yes. Uh, I think the most popular one we get is when people invest in a service, they think that we're a Ken and Barbie making factory with unlimited goods, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think that's when you hire a matchmaker, one of the common pit, pitfalls we really address uh, before we get into the matching is you can't just put in your order, like, a custom car or pizza. That's not what people are. And 
So we address all that before we get into the nitty gritties of matching. Uh, we basically ha- get hired to screen for the things that you can't live without and you mm-hmm. can't live with. So your right. best pass and your deal breakers are always on our mind when we're screening someone for you. Um, we make sure that we're looking for someone who is also looking for you before making an introduction. So we do this consistently so that we're exposing our clients to people who they wouldn't otherwise get to meet because they're busy working or growing their business. Right. Um, and so we're looking to expand their dating opportunities um, in a smart and effective route, but at the same time, we don't overpromise that we're going to build you your Ken doll or your Barbie doll. That's <laughs> not what people are, and that's what, you know, being in a marriage, you know that it's not that way. They're, it's going to require the client to do the work as well. We don't make right. people fall in love and stay in love, right? So we just create opportunities for them to meet their love. Fascinating. That's because you're dealing with people. It's, you know, it's, we're dealing with human beings. So. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so we're, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back in just a few minutes, and we'll have some more questions about matchmaking. Making. Please stay tuned. Imagine Possibilities Unlimited. Well, they're here, and they want to help your business. Possibilities Unlimited offers the best business consulting and coaching that provides incredible results. Ralph White and his team of experts bring a variety of experience and expertise to your business. Discover how their whole life matrix can positively affect your personal and business life. Focusing on key challenges, they'll devise a customized plan and give you the support you need every step of the way until you achieve your intended results. Call Possibilities Unlimited today at 310-372-8538. That's 310-372-8538. No business is too big or too small. Possibilities Unlimited can help them all. Call now at 310-372-8538 or visit consulting2win.com. That's consulting2win.com. Do you own your own business? What would happen if your computer system crashed? Would you be able to recover in a reasonable amount of time? Left Brain Tech's computer services caters to business owners who want reliable computer systems that work and are backed up in case of emergency. For your entire computer needs, call 888-239-2216 or visit leftbraintechs.com. IT solutions done right with Left Brain Techs. That's 888-239-2216 or leftbraintechs.com. Oh man, it never fails. My suitcase just got ripped apart. Life is a journey. Make it a pleasant one. Use Samsonite. You know the name. For almost a century, Samsonite luggage has proved itself to be the worldwide leader in innovative travel solutions. Let it be yours. Visit HealthyLife.net's affiliate Samsonite on our homepage and click to look at the fine luggage from suitcases to golf travel bags. And don't forget, take a look at their travel accessories. Make life a journey. A pleasant one with Samsonite. Whether your business is in products or services, one thing you need to be successful is sales. And now, you can take the mystery out of selling and discover how to consistently produce top sales results with Possibilities Unlimited 8-Week Sales to Win Course. The Sales to Win Course can be attended by anyone from anywhere because it's given by conference call. You'll be taught by top sales and marketing experts all about the sales process, and you'll be given top techniques and tips. It's all simply broken down for you and presented in a stress-free environment. But the best thing is, it's so affordable. It's money well spent because you'll make even more money back with your increased sales. Don't wait. Enroll in the Sales to Win course for yourself and your sales staff right now. You won't want to miss this opportunity to raise your bottom line. Call 310-372-8538. That's 310-372-8538. HealthyLife.net, the positive radio network. Call now at 1-800-555-5453 if you have a question about business. Now back to the business beat. Here's your host, Ralph White. Welcome back. We're here today with uh, my co-host, Leanne Farmer, and our guest, Katie Chin. And we're talking about relationships, and she's has the she's the co-founder of Catching Catch Matchmaking. And Katie, I'm I want to 
talk about your business model and what I'm hearing in that what you've done is that you've taken the concern of creating a, a match of finding mm -hmm. a mate or finding a match right. and you've taken taken that concern all aspects of that concern and taking it off the off of the the you know taking it away from the customer right. and handled it and that's an that's outstanding you know uh -huh. I, we we coach our clients that you know the only reason that someone buys something right. is to fulfill a concern that they have right. and you've you know as I've listened to what you've done you've gone right down the line of every single aspects of the concern of dating and I, you know, I'm. I wished you were around when I was dating. You know, it's like, I mean, I. I mean, it was like, I'm. I'm listening. You know, mean I could get feedback on what I did wrong. You know, it's like you could set it up. Every single item in in the whole process, you've taken those concerns and you're handling them. And other people, you know, other listeners in all different kinds of businesses could take take on your business model and look, right. you know, look at how it applies to their business. Look at how, sure. you know, look from where you're you're looking. And because you want if you can, you know, if other companies, you know, could could look at it like what is the problem that I'm solving and how do I take that problem away from the customer? And solve it in such a good way that the customer, you know, doesn't even can think about it anymore. Right. You know, it's like, I mean, you could be, for instance, you know, I could take the same example, uh, a painting contractor. Sure. Comes out, paints paint your house. Okay. Mm -hmm. Instead of going away and never coming back, they then schedule to come out and touch it up, you know, calling you in, in, in a mm -hmm. year and saying it's time for us to come back and touch it up. And then right. keep keep touching it up, you know, telling you when it needs to be touched up, coming back and telling you when it needs to be redone. In other sure. words, they do the worrying about painting your house so that right. you don't. You know, Absolutely. how did you how did you get to that that particular business model? How how did you evolve to that thinking? Because that's really very right. impressive. Well, thank you. I mean. May and I both uh, have backgrounds in uh, psychology, uh, sociology, and communication. So I think just the matter of that, having that background and then also working in corporate America and understanding the kind of day-to-day -day life that lived in the shoe of a professional, so to speak, uh, we understand what we need. And we wanted to create a company that reflected you be on the other side, and uh, to give you a little background, uh, May, all, the founder, also tried everything, online dating, uh, she's tried uh, a matchmaker herself, and so um, just um, through that experience, uh, wanted to create something that was very personalized to um, who we are, and so I think who we are also just happens to also fit a lot of people living in Los Angeles, dating in Los Angeles at any age range, uh, especially if there's people out there, I'm sure, who are starting over, who are divorced, uh, who may be widowed or maybe on their second or third divorce, whatever it may be. And uh, LA is also a, a transplant city, so hmm. it's also harder to meet someone that way. So all these things we took into account and also our background in management helped us understand how important personalized service really is because we're dealing with people and this is the most important part of their life or at least at this point in their life they've decided, hey, it is important. So uh, it's kind of a, a big epiphany for a busy professional to make. Right. They have focused so much in driving their career and for them to change gears and go to this part, they may not be a professional in this, this arena and this is where we come in. Mm -hmm. um, and we understand the psychology behind it. And so that's how we arrived at the business model, really, is through, uh, number one, our professional experience, number two, our personal experience, and number three, this is our business, this is our company, we have a lot of ownership in it. So I think those three factors really drive uh, our business model on a day-to-day -day basis. How do you market the business? Where do you find your clients, I guess? Well, 
you know, we have tried a, a number of things, but the things that have worked for us through the years, uh, because our service is so personalized and it's a face-to-face -face interaction that we have, uh, the most effective three things that we do are, number one, we do events. Uh, mm -hmm. We either partner up with uh, authors that write on dating, who write dating profiles, okay. believe it or not. Uh, they do speaking engagements about dating. We're there to, under that umbrella, to market to that demographic. Because Excellent. Those people are, number one, relationship-minded. <laughs> They're attending these things to improve their dating skills. So right. We're there. We also hold uh, singles events ourselves, like the one I just talked about. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, we belong to a lot of professional organizations, uh, so like the LA Chamber of Commerce, Alhambra Chamber of Commerce, so um, a lot of referral networks that where professionals are driven, uh, so that's another aspect. And it is a face-to-face -face luncheon or breakfast meeting because, again, we need to check out who's referring us somebody and do we trust that source. Um, and the third thing we do, which I think everyone does now, is social media. Sure. So uh, Facebook and Twitter is very important um, of interacting and getting feedback uh, from events that we've done or just from things that are maybe important to someone today. It's now on Facebook. <laughs> right, right. So that's how we reach our audience as well. Um, well, I want to make sure that our listeners know how to reach you, uh, too. Can you tell people how to contact uh, Catch Matchmaking if they're interested in meeting you and becoming part of your database and, and having you guide them through the process of, of finding a match? Absolutely. At their convenience, they can visit our website. It's catchmatchmaking.com. So all one word, catchmatchmaking.com, or they can uh, shoot me an email. It's Katie, K-A-T-I-E, at catchmatchmaking.com. Okay. So very um, easy means of reaching us that way, and that way they can read up a little bit more about our process or testimonials online as well, and then feel free to schedule a time to meet with one of us if they want more information. And you are in the Los Angeles area. Are there any geographic limits on the uh, clients that you would work with? We are. We specialize in the greater LA area. Mm -hmm. So any um, any part of the greater LA is is perfect for us. So we also have a database uh, and reach nationwide because we are a part of the Matchmaking Institute. So we can connect easily uh, through our system with other matchmakers nationwide. So there actually is a matchmaking institute. This is right. this is a, a bigger industry than I ever <laughs> suspected, Ralph. All right. <laughs> yeah, a whole other segment for that. <laughs> All right. Well, Katie, I really want to thank you for being on the show. It's been very informative. I'm like I said, I'm very impressed with the design of your business model and and how you put it together. Uh, I, I wish that more people were, did as much intellectual effort to design their business model to have it be as complete as yours. I wish you tremendous success in your business. Thank you for being on the show, and have a great day. And, you both do the same. Okay, and we'll, please stay tuned. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back. There are three wise women at Possibilities Unlimited, and if you want to improve your business's bottom line, you'll want to get to know them because they want to help you with your business, and they can. Wise web woman Bonnie Landau will help make your website the best it can be. She'll help you with all web-related things, including social media. Wise marketing woman Mary Molinoff wields her magic to find and obtain sales leads for you, and she'll help you identify and qualify prospects. Leanne Farmer, wise work, life woman, hones your customer relations, communications, and sales skills as she teaches you how to manage your work and life in balance. There are options of coaching with one or all three wise women. Get to know them now. Call 310-372-8538. That's 310-372-8538 or visit 
Consulting2win.com. That's Consulting2win.com. What does HealthyLife.net and Amazon.com have in common? Well, they're both available on the internet. They both give great value. But most important, most of our positive program hosts and guests are accomplished authors. And their books are available from, you got it, Amazon.com. Now it even gets better than that. Because when you're listening on air to a HealthyLife.net host or guest, you can go directly to Amazon.com and you can order your book while you're still listening to your favorite HealthyLife.net program. So when you hear an author you like, go to the homepage of HealthyLife.net and click on Amazon.com. Demystify the world of social marketing and get it to work for you. You can maximize your market potential in sales. And Bonnie Landau of Possibilities Unlimited can help. Discover how to use Twitter, LinkedIn, and more to market your business. Learn how to expand your prospect base, improve your web presence, but more importantly, get results. Your possibilities are unlimited. Social networking can impact your bottom line in a positive way. Find out how with Bonnie Landau of Possibilities Unlimited. Call today at 310-372-8538. That's 310-372-8538. Or visit consulting2win.com, consulting2win.com. Do you own your own business? What would happen if your computer system crashed? Would you be able to recover in a reasonable amount of time? Left Brain Tech's computer services caters to business owners who want reliable computer systems that work and are backed up in case of emergency. For your entire computer needs, call 888-239-2216 or visit leftbraintechs.com. IT solutions done right with Left Brain Techs. That's 888-239-2216 or leftbraintechs.com. All positive talk with a mature edge. HealthyLife.net. Keeping a finger on the pulse of business to increase the flow of profit, here's Business Beat with your host, Ralph White. Welcome back. This is the Business Beat, and I'm here with Leanne Farmer, and we are just been talking about matchmaking, and that was a very interesting conversation. Yes, it was. Yes, I, I learned, <laughs> learned a lot. We cover all the bases here yes. on, on the Business Beat. Yes, <laughs> definitely got our finger on the pulse of business, so... Uh, I want to talk about something that's come up in our sales to win class that I would like to share with the listeners. And it's looking at, uh, we have a company that we're working with in this class and they've been co- working on marketing and marketing is creating opportunities for sales. And then they've been working on selling, which is having conversations with people who have the potential of buying your biz- your products mm-hmm. and their business was slow. You know, so they didn't have a lot of working hours of d- delivering product. So they put a lot of effort into sales and marketing, and that produced a lot of p- uh, proposals. And as a result of that, it's produced a lot of business. So they started shifting their hours back to doing the work. Right. And now they started looking at it and said, okay, well, we don't have time to do the marketing, the sales right. and marketing. This is a common cycle that we see. Yes, definitely. And so we had a conversation with them in the in the sales to win class. And it, we realized that the up and down of business is the this cycle of where you, you know, you, you, you do the sales effort and then you get work and then you stop selling and you mm-hmm. go deliver the work and then the work gets delivered and then you realize, you know, I don't have any sales. Nothing in the pipeline. Right. So then you stop, you know, the work is done. So you then go back to selling and then, and then you sell some more work and then you go deliver the work. So that has the, (laughs) the selling going up and down, the working going up and down, the collection of money going up and down and the, the, you know, the work and the, and the angst of your business going up and down. Right. So we decided that we didn't like that (laughs) (laughs) and they wanted something different. And it's been that way for quite some time in this particular business. And they see that the sales and marketing is, is what's created this abundance of work. You know, there's definitely a relationship between the hours dedicated to sales and marketing and producing sales, you know, no time on sales, you're not going to have sales. So what they decided to do is to require everyone in the company to spend 10 hours a month on sales. 
Now, there's some people that are salespeople, and they're going to spend all of their time on sales. But they allocated everyone in the company 10 hours a month for sales. Right. Yeah. And they're actually putting that in their budget, which means they're actually, under the current situation, going to have to hire some more people. Because with that, pulling out those 10 hours for for everybody, they don't have enough people to handle all of the work that they have. Right, the delivery of what they have sold. Correct. Normally, they would say they have enough hours, but with the 10 hours a month on sales for everybody, and we're talking the receptionist, we're talking the person in accounting, we're talking every individual in the company will be doing 10 hours a month. Now, I think that's an important point, if I, if you don't mind me stopping you right there. It's not just um, like the frontline sales staff that's com- making this commitment. It's everybody in the company, the receptionist, as you said, um, the IT people, you know, whoever right. it is, can make a commitment to being part of the sales process. Correct. The bookkeeper. The bookkeeper. And, and so the question often is, what do I, why me? You know, what do I have to do with the sales? I'm the receptionist. Exactly. Well, what they determined was if everyone contributes to sales, you know, really no sales, you know, if your job doesn't contribute to sales, it's really not an essential job. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody in the company should be contributing to sales in some form or fashion. But the, if you're contributing to sales, you're actually, that's your job insurance. Yeah. That's what puts you up front and gives you some input into the sales process, which gives you some, you know, some guarantee or some insurance that the, the, the work is going to be there. Right. It also gives you a stake in the results, Correct. It, you know, which provides a lot more enrichment for what, for your job. You know, if you, and hopefully, you know, there's a game in place for if you are creating something that's going to create a sale, you get rewarded for that. You know, and there's a lot of things that people can do in, in the receptionist in her off uh, time can be researching new prospects on the Internet. She can be tweeting on behalf of the company. You know, there's so many things um, with the new social media networking and, and there's so many activities that can be done by other people in the company that can produce more sales. Right. They went down the, down the list and every individual has a project like uh, social marketing or writing white papers or one individual has updating the website by putting the white papers on the website. Another individual has hunting for leads on the, on the internet. Uh, another individual has updating the, the database with uh, all the new clients that they're bringing in. Mm-hmm. Uh, another individual has calling past clients, updating the database and connecting with past clients So everyone has a project that they're working on. And that does need to be coordinated. It does need to be assigned like what you're saying. You know, I mean, you need to be clear about what everybody's project is. Right. So that people aren't stepping on each other's toes. Exactly. So everyone is, everyone is accountable for a particular project. And so they have that accountability. And then they've set up meetings every two weeks for an hour to where you come to the meeting and you report on the results that you've produced in the last two weeks on your product, on your project. So let's say the gentleman on the white papers project, he'll come to the meeting and he says, okay, I've written two white papers in the last two weeks that are ready to go onto the, onto the internet or onto the website. And I've published, I'm ready to, they're ready to be published, go on the website and sent out to our customers. So this is a, a way to, to build more marketing into your business. So I welcome, you know, the, invite you to use this idea. If you'd like some coaching on how to implement it in your company, please send me an email to ralph at consultingtowin.com. That's ralph at consultingtowin.com. We're going to take another break and we'll be right back. Making it perfect or nothing else is the company culture at Goldbracht USA, a premier luxury window and door manufacturer. 
doing business since 1889, every window and door is made with old world craftsmanship and the finest materials, meticulous design, sleek finishing, and a commitment to the environment. They even use environmentally friendly transportation. Made in Germany, available in the U.S., Goldbreck USA is located in Santa Monica, California. For the world's best windows and doors, visit www.goldbreckusa.com or call now at 310-393-5540. That's 310-393-5540. Whether your business is in products or services, one thing you need to be successful is sales. And now, you can take the mystery out of selling and discover how to consistently produce top sales results with Possibilities Unlimited 8-Week Sales to Win Course. The Sales to Win Course can be attended by anyone from anywhere because it's given by conference call. You'll be taught by top sales and marketing experts all about the sales process, and you'll be given top techniques and tips. It's all simply broken down for you and presented in a stress-free environment. But the best thing is, it's so affordable. It's money well spent because you'll make even more money back with your increased sales. Don't wait. Enroll in the Sales to Win course for yourself and your sales staff right now. You won't want to miss this opportunity to raise your bottom line. Call 310-372-8538. That's 310-372-8538. Uplifting Talk. HealthyLife.net. Well, Leanne, looks like we've got another show complete. We sure do. It sure was a fun one. Yes, definitely. So uh, our play for this week is to schedule 10 hours of sales and marketing to do something that you're currently not doing into your calendar for this month. That's the play for the week. And to have an extraordinary week. And we will be back next week with another show. Thank you for listening and have a great week.